Hi, and welcome to Feature Fridays. My name is Guy Bartram. I'm Director of Product Marketing for our Cloud Provider Business Unit. And today I'm joined again by Sashi. Welcome back, Sashi. Thank you, Guy. Okay, so um, today, Sashi, we're going to discuss uh, a new uh, beta program that's in place uh, for container service extension. Um, Sashi, so we've just had VCD 10.4 go live, and uh, there's a new version of CSE with 10.4. And this beta is around CSC, um, I think you're calling it .next, but it's 4.0, is that right? That is absolutely right. So, okay. yeah. So, so um, how come this is, um, you know, such a big change from what we've seen in CSC so far? Yeah, definitely. I can talk a little bit about, little bit about the new CSC architecture. So, uh, we have taken all the... Uh, uh, feedback in consideration and uh, we are trying to uh, come up with a new architecture to improvise the user experience for provider onboarding and uh, to create a, a more user friendly experience uh, for CAP VCD enabled TKG clusters and we also um, re-architected how the uh, customers are going to look at ca uh, cluster API on on their existing Kubernetes clusters. So all these changes are, um, are going to make a big difference when cloud providers, as well as the uh, customers, when they are trying to create a new Kubernetes cluster. So- um, okay, And Sashi, just let's, let's just um, take it a little bit, uh, step, step by step here. So. Um, let's just re reiterate, what is CAP VCD? Because we've got CSC, um, and what is CAP mm -hmm. VCD? Yeah, so cluster, uh, CAP VCD is an uh, acronym uh, for Cluster API for VMware Cloud Director. Um, okay. uh, that's uh, uh, the uh, way in the Kubernetes world, uh, it's used to manage the lifecycle of Kubernetes clusters using a Kubernetes cluster. And uh, we introduced a cluster API in CSE release. Uh, we, we created a new product for cluster API itself, and we mm -hmm. introduced it uh, in month of April, uh, but that was CLI only. Uh, the UI integration uh, didn't happen then. Uh, in the CSE beta program, you are going to experience uh, the whole new way of looking at CAP VCD uh, with, within UI. So okay. uh, we had concept of management cluster, uh, which is not there anymore. Each Tanzu Kubernetes cluster we create from CAC are going to be self-managing uh, Kubernetes clusters, which will have a cluster API integrated itself. Okay, so now this is going to cluster API is going to be the basic the foundation for all um, container infrastructure that gets deployed with CSE. That is correct. Okay, whereas before mm -hmm. I think it was wasn't right. It was it, it, it was partially done, but not fully fully done for everything. That is correct. We had to manually go ahead and install the cluster API on our Tanzu Kubernetes grid cluster. Okay. Okay. So yeah. this is quite a change then for um, you know as far as it goes architecturally, um, yes. and this is this is why it's kind of the dot next. It's going to be a, a quite a big release. Um, will will this be able? And you may not notice at this moment, but will this be able to run with um, the same versions of VCD that CSC runs with today? Uh, this is going to be supported with starting with release ten dot three dot three and onwards. Okay. Um, and uh, uh, not during the beta program, but this new architecture's beauty is that you can have native clusters running with older version of CSE, um, and you can introduce, while you are having the older release of CSE, you can introduce this CSE 4.0 within your infrastructure and start offering um, this improvised architecture from CSE and uh, TKG point of view. Oh, okay. And will there be a, an ability to kind of move your your clusters over to the CAP VCD clusters? Yeah. So as you decommission the older one, you can start preparing new clusters with CAP VCD. Excellent. Okay. Great. Yeah. So um, beta is live now, then. And um, what does that 
that mean then how do people actually get onto the beta because if you're basically the the message is if you're looking at CSE today then you probably need to go on the beta so you understand more about how it all hangs together and how the new architecture is going to be available to you yeah so uh, first of all the beta program is live uh, since July 14th and we are uh, you can subscribe or sign up for beta program using our cloud provider slack channel uh, mm -hmm. we have a uh, uh, channel for specifically for CSE and Tanzu. You can submit your request over there, and from there you can. Uh, uh, we will sign you in for uh, the sign you up for beta program, and from there you will get access to the beta community page where you can download our um, beta product builds, and uh, we also be part of the. Uh, engaging community where you can submit your questions, provide your constructive feedbacks if you have any, and ask any questions about the roadmap or uh, uh, any feature related questions. So, okay. and we will be monitoring this uh, uh, beta community actively. So, uh, it's a very good place to uh, get interaction going with you and the other uh, providers in a private manner. Yeah, so for all the providers out there who don't know this, we run a external Slack channel where we have probably 20 odd sub channels addressing each technology in the stack. There's a, a channel for CSE, explicitly mm -hmm. for CSE. Um, and that's where you'll find the information around the beta and that's where you can ask all of your questions about CSE. Um, if you haven't used the Slack channel yet, you have to, I'll put the link below, you have to, um, sign up first and then you'll get access and then you'll be able to see the CSE channel within the group. And it's it's a great resource, right? Because all of our engineering looks at it, all of our field looks at it. It's um, you know a great place to go to get questions answered, stuff that maybe isn't something you want to put in a ticket, but you just want to ask community. That is correct. And let's say if you have any questions about roadmap or even uh, any general question about uh, any features being new features uh, it's a very live community people get uh, uh, people ask questions uh, and you also get answers not from just vmware but you can you have this whole conversation going so it's a great yeah. place to be in regardless of the beta program now sasha you mentioned there's obviously there's improvements uh user improvements there's the whole cat vcd now being the default kind of platform that we're going to deliver on um i guess a lot of this is driven by customer requirements in the past and and feedback from customers mm -hmm. yes so i'm personally very excited about this uh that cac is now going to be offered as a oba uh as an appliance so uh, as a provider admin, all you have to do is um, import the uh, OVA uh, within your uh, providers or uh, uh, providers organization where you host your uh, all the extensions like App Launchpad or uh, Container Service Extension, Object Storage Extension. So you can dedicate an uh, organization within your uh, VMware cloud infrastructure, and from there. You, uh, you and then just uh, submit in, uh, fill in few parameters for container service extension and it's it's going to deploy it as an appliance and you'll get uh, you'll just have to onboard the customers from that point on okay cool so yeah so no more uh, uh, python version compatibility no more um, uh, starting the service creating the service all those will be taken care of by an OVA. Yeah, so how is this different to um, the new version of Terraform that's come out so with VCD? Have, uh, oh, sorry, um, we're getting a bit of lag on the line. Um, sorry. How is this different okay. from the the Terraform version of VCD that uh, Terraform version, sorry, that's coming out now for ten point four, which does the CSE deployment for you already? So, uh, how? So uh, I, I'm not very sure on like uh, the exact differences right now, but uh, CSE as an OVA format is going to help us onboard, but all the other uh, uh, workflows for uh, onboarding customers or uh, uh, 
having the customers create their kubernetes clusters uh, managing their life cycle all those going uh, can be handled by terraform uh, on a high level but uh, you still need some uh, actually guy let's cut it out i don't know what uh, <laughs> they have in yeah yeah no in worries terraform. no worries i mean I'm I, sorry so terraform the new version terraform will deploy cse at you know touch a button sort of thing um deploys everything for csc so you've got to do none of that additional work that we used to have to do manually in the feature fridays so i'm just guessing mm -hmm. that the ova will just make that even easier uh but we have to see if they are going to use the older version of csc or csc.next so i don't oh they'll, that's they'll be I... using the old version they'll be using the old version yeah 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 okay so okay, cool yeah okay so All so right. what else is new in uh csc uh, uh, next so to create the kubernetes uh, sorry uh, the container service extension uh, we upload the oba uh, from in our cloud provider organization and simply create a, a v app called container service extension you provide the name you provide the network parameters and then you provide the uh, some properties related to container service extension in this example i'm adding container service extension to a vcd host for uh, uh c atr1 hyphen vcd and so on and mm -hmm. this is going to create a uh, extension for your uh, cloud provider and with that you map the uh, network configuration and just review and that's about it these are the only steps to uh, create and start the container service extension just for wow. the beta program <laughs> that's yeah. got so much easier <laughs> yes that's that's that you realize uh, that's put us out of business for feature friday now i mean this is like <laughs> <laughs> boom it's done <laughs> and we news. have a lot more uh, new exciting stuff that we can build on top so we'll have some Excellent. new stuff definitely yep. um so for uh, see, just for the beta program we have to create some defined entities uh, making a uh, like couple of api calls but it's only for the beta program we are going to have a ui workflow to create those entities as well and once this ova is uh, configured uh, you can go ahead and check the password for your ova in the guest properties of your pm so it's uh, and then you can change the password afterwards or however you want to manage this csu and then there's so some customization the, by scripts afterwards by looks of things yeah this is this, this is the standard uh, 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 practice of like uh, managing any vm if you want mm -hmm. to uh, secure the vm we use the option to auto generate the password and we are leveraging that over here Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, to create a Kubernetes cluster, the UI is also changed in a way that uh, we are going to allow them to create uh, Kubernetes clusters with multiple uh, control plane VMs. So, and that can be done via UI. So, and we also brought in a uh, concept of uh, we also brought in concept of a node pool so uh, providers or customers who is going to manage the life cycle of the uh, uh, the kubernetes cluster they can uh, create a node pool so this is the overall ui for uh, tkg cluster you can see we have resize we have a kube config you have option to upgrade the kubernetes clusters all these are uh, going to be functional uh, during the beta program and you can, try, you can go ahead and try and test them. The only this limitation as of, yes, the only limitation right now is uh, for the beta program, we support only two templates. Uh, all the details are available on the beta program's uh, community page, but you can upload those templates to VCD like we used to. Uh, mm -hmm. either from UI or using VCD CLI. And uh, you can use those 
Sashi, they're, try and they're, TK, the they're TKGM mm -hmm. templates, right? Yes, they are TKGM okay. templates. They are taken from two different uh, uh, releases. Uh, one is from uh, Kubernetes version 1.2.21.9, and the other one is Kubernetes version 1.22.9 uh, or something. But mm -hmm. those are uh, those details are available. So, yeah. uh, so first of all, you can resize control plane or worker plane uh, of uh, the PKG cluster using UI. You can do perform upgrade. You can look at uh, all the events, um, not all the events, but whatever uh, some of the events can be viewed on the uh, new UI. And you can also create the node pools um, of uh, Kubernetes cluster from UI. So there are a lot of enhancements that went into UI plugin and you can um, preview them uh, during this beta program. And of course, if you have any more questions or if you have any uh, feedback, you can uh, definitely take advantage of this beta program. And and what version of um, BCD, you said 10.3.3, .3, would this be the, the requirement for the beta? Yes, uh, either 10.3.3 .3 or uh, you can also use 10.4, uh, mm -hmm. but what we have tested internally is with 10.3.3. Uh, .3 .3. So uh, okay. you can use either one of them. The okay. older and versions we don't we don't have compatibility. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So it's important to know because that's obviously quite um, well. 10.4 was only last week, so this is quite um, a re recent kind of release that service providers might have to deploy uh -huh. a BCD in a, a sandbox to try and, you know, to do this. That is correct. And okay. I will quickly show you the beta programs page. So we have uploaded all the beta documents that talks about like how to onboard or how to enable this uh, 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 CAC on the release. And so we have some of the uh, required JSON files. We have some of the test scenarios you would like to try it out and what a, like how you enable this. So all this is available in documented way. And these are the uh, system requirements. These are the, uh, the features we are going to uh, preview in this beta program. Mm -hmm. And that's about it. How long is the beta gonna run for? It's going to run till August uh, 14th, or uh, I don't know the exact date, but mid middle of the August. So okay. we have uh, quite some time uh, if you want to try it out. Okay, great. Well, uh, all service providers out there who have uh, have the time and are interested in CSC um, and have 10.33 or 10.4 BCD, this is a, a great opportunity to get your hands dirty with uh, CSC.next. Um, I, I think when I, when I look at that, I mean, we spent 30, 40 minutes on Feature Fridays walking through the configuration of CSC and all of the stuff now that is actually just bundled up in that OVA. Um, so it's going to be, you know, a really a great starting point and have it in the UI means it will be available for administrators and tenants as well. So it's going to be a significant step forward in terms of usability. That is absolutely right. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, Sashi, thank you very much. Um, I'll make sure all the links are in, in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, um, I think this is really good. Um, I'm pleased we've had the opportunity to actually have uh, a beta kind of uh, announcement and um, and uh, being able to communicate it on Feature Fridays, because I think that always makes it a lot better to understand what's in the beta and see it for yourself and, and learn a bit more. So hopefully we'll get some providers engaging on the CSC channel and deploying the beta. Yeah, looking forward to it too, guys. All right, brilliant. Thank you very much, Sashi. Yeah, thank you.